Hello everyone, Parked Media here. I'm Ashley Weedner. I'm here with Kyle Turbo Herbo Herbertson, and we're going to take you through the Melbourne Celebrates 2023 presented by Discraft brand new temporary course at Llewellyn Park in Wonturner South. We're pretty excited about this as Kyle takes you into hole one. 75 metre par three straight up the hill sponsored by Disconnection. They're going to be running a competition over the weekend. If you hit the stand or the basket on the full, you can go into the draw to win some sweet prizes. Make sure you keep that QR code handy. Hole two now from Ash. Alrighty, so we're going to head up to hole two, uh, heading up a, up the hill a little bit and then back down it again for a par four. It's 131 metres. Uh, you're going to have OB out to your right. There's an oval out there. Don't go on it, but you've got a Mando up here that we're about to fly past on the right-hand side as well. You want to be on the left-hand side of this tree. You'll see that fairway slope down a little bit to your right, which is leading you down towards the basket, uh, which is down here. Uh, so a couple of big forehand shots or a nice big righty backhand turnover or a big left-hand straight shot from Kyle, booming it down to that basket. Absolutely. Thanks to Disc Baron for sponsoring that hole. Par three here for hole three, 83 metres, but dramatically downhill as the basket's perched atop that mound on the left-hand side. There is a fierce drop away on this hole and houses over to the left-hand side for any wayward D shots in the wind. Big thanks to Great Lakes Disc for sponsoring this treacherous par three. Absolutely no lakes in sight on hole four. It's a par three, 84 metres, and it's brought to you by Fidget Mini. Shout out to Fidget Mini there. On this tee, just be aware that you've got OB uh, that rode off the tee, and you also may run into wayward tee shots from hole five, which is just across the way there. But we're basically heading up the hill, 84 metres uh, to this basket in the open here. Watch out for those uh, that scrub behind it. That can be pretty nasty in there. Speaking of a bit nasty, we've got a 95 metre par 3 here, hole 5, headed up the hill. For those of you who played the preview for Llewellyn Park, you would note that the left hand OB is no more. They decided it was a hard enough hole as it is, and now we just want to bomb something straight up this hill and either give you a look for birdie or a simple approach to get up and down for your par. A big shout out goes to Outright Plumbing and Maintenance for sponsoring this hole. Indeed, water doesn't flow uphill, but I bet Outright Plumbing could make it flow up that hole. Hole six, par five, 190 meters, hello big boy. This hole is sponsored by the Throllers Podcast. Thank you for that, guys. Uh, the big arms are going to love this hole. You've got some OB to contend with on the right, but all of that uh, stuff you see on the left there is inbounds. You're just going to have to play from out of there. So you're really wanting to uh, get two big shots up to around here for a nice little approach into this narrow green uh, and get it in the basket there for your, uh, for your five or a four if you're good enough. Uh, so longest hole on the course and hopefully take some big numbers over the weekend, Kyle. Hole seven, hopefully taking a few less numbers. <laughs> a bit of caution headed down to the seventh tee. It can be a bit slippery as we head over this scrub up the hill onto this slanted green. A bit treacherous here as Disc Golf Warehouse has sponsored quite the roll away potential hole here. Huge thanks to them and really However you want to attack it, this hole is open to it. Just try and get away with that birdie. Good luck. Hole eight, par three, 65 meters. Well, we're moving into the parked media tunnel of tree love. Uh, if you shank it off the tee, you've got some fences you can just see there to contend with on the left-hand side, which are gonna play as OB. But otherwise, all you're trying to do is get it up here into the bullseye, uh, straight up and to the left. Uh, with that basket behind those uh, small trees there. Get it into the bullseye here uh, and you're going to draw to win a parked media prize. Uh, just be careful if you do get into the bullseye, don't cheer too loud because the players on 13 will hear you. You don't want to put them off. Hole nine now, a 67 metre par three sponsored by Berg's Disc Sports. The oval plays OB again here, as well as the path in front and behind of the basket. However you want to get there, this basket is nestled in that long grass there between a few trees. And really, however you want to attack it, 
it's there. Nice birdieable hole. Let's see how you go. Alrighty, speaking of nice birdieable holes, hole 10, we've got another par 3, 72 metres, brought to you by the Print Baron. So you're going to want to fly like the Red Baron straight through these two trees, which will serve as a double mando. So either side of that, you've missed the mando, and the path on the left, fence on the right, are going to play as OB. But all you're trying to do is get it straight up the middle here to this uh, guarded basket by these three trees and get yourself a part. Absolutely. Hole 11, bit trickier par 3, 77 metres. We've got some OB to contend with, the fence on the right and the bollards behind the green. But the big thing here is this mando left of that tree right in the middle there, forcing you to come up this gap through the low ceiling and skid up this hill. This hole is sponsored by Cross Tasman Discs and we can't wait to see what you can do. Yes, um, looking forward to seeing Cross Tasman Discs at the tournament as well. Hole 12, par 3, and we're looking at 103 metres, basically straight ahead of you here. Uh, brought to you by Disc Golf Victoria, uh, and you'll see, the thing on this hole is you'll see that OB line snaking up there through the path and following the path line around to the left here. Very important that you have a spotter. Uh, head up to about this corner and make sure there's no one coming down that path before you throw your tee shot there, but that's the the only OB you've got to contend with on the left. Plenty of space out to the right to get yourself up onto this green or to uh, get yourself a nice approach for three. Hole 13 now, an 89 metre par three. Bit of a tricky one. We've got the rise up ahead of you, hiding the basket down below. The oval to the left plays as OB yet again. And we really don't want to end up long or left here as it drops off quite severely. And this basket sits on the plateau there. A massive thanks to Rat Accessories for sponsoring this hole. Thank you, Reese. Righty, from hole 13, you're going to walk back towards HQ for a 67 metre par 3. Straight down that path, uh, you've got no OB to speak of here, obviously, over, other than the, the path uh, onto the oval, but you're basically heading straight down here, trying to avoid these trees and the trees behind the green to this elevated basket uh, as Fidget Mini brings you this 67 metre par 3. Hole 15 now, a 74 metre par 3. The only notable OB here is that path to the left on this Paul McBeth Foundation sponsored hole. Quite a good hole to try and test out that A spot and pierce through these two clumps of trees to the basket guarded just around to that right hand side. Plenty of birdies to be had here, will you be one? Probably not, Kyle, but others might. As we move on to hole 16, uh, we're looking at a par four, 138 metres now. You've got a very, uh, you've got a right-hand tree there, uh, which is shaped like a little W. You can just see it moving out of screen now, W for Westside Disc Golf, who are sponsoring this hole. That tree is going to play as a mando. You're going to have to be left with that to avoid that path and those uh, houses and the fences there. Good news is you've got plenty of space out here to your left uh, to throw any sort of shot you want, basically, and give yourself a nice big hyzer, a flat shot, a forehand, anything you want into this craggy knoll of a green. Hole 17 now. A very short tunnel hole with plenty to contend with. You've got trees right, left, above. They're out to get you on this hole as Beach Hut <laughs> Brewery will happily help you drown your sorrows after the round <laughs> very proud sponsor of this hole plenty of birdies to be had how will you manage it as we get ready to move into the last hole of this course preview absolutely every tournament course needs a great finishing hole and Llewellyn Park's no exception hole 18 par 4 156 meters we're starting at the stop at the top of a pretty steep hill uh, bespoke disc golf has really come up with a fantastic uh, finishing hole here we're heading straight down here and into this last tunnel or the last little fairway to the right that tree on the left there is going to uh, serve as a mando you're going to have to go inside that uh, and take this route round to the green here. Uh, so you're gonna get down there for one, two of you are uh, unlucky and tap it in for an eagle or birdie, Kyle. Thank you for joining us for this 
course preview and we hope you have a wonderful time playing Melbourne Celebrates. If you haven't signed up yet, sign up. Come and play these holes.